Now, this time, I might just turn my PS5 off just to make sure it's saved now. All right, let's see what the heck's going up here. Castle time. Stormvale Castle. We have finally, on, on day five of Elden Ring's release, we finally made it to where most streamers were on their 12-hour stream on day one. Oh, how about that? Double grace. How come your mom lets you have two statues of grace? You know what? I'm a simple man. There's no way this is going to open, but you got to try. Oh, we don't need to open it. You go castle first. You go castle over the garden. Come over here, oh, look. You? You're a scumbag. You throw fireballs, man. You, 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 you By the way, thank you, Young Llama Moan, for the gifted subscriptions. I thank you. Thank you. against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded. By hardened old hands. Is this dude important? I killed him. <laughs> dude, this is Patches. Is this Patches? Chibli, I don't know how many Souls games you've played. I, I know you played Dark Souls 3. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. Patches is a guy who tricks you. He does have gamer neck. This looks... is the... The burnt gamer versus the burnt esports athlete. Low posture, cassette tape around neck, scraggly hair, maximum body hair, incredible lean muscular mass. Gear doesn't matter because it's all about skill. First off, stealth. You know what? Let's, th let's not be toxic anymore. Let's be positive. Let's be a good gamer. We don't have to be toxic anymore. We beat the boss. Ruin fragment. You can't fool me. It's a piece of dung. Hey, Basil TV. Thank you as well. Dude, legit typed ruin. I can't believe it. Try jumping. Try not going so fast. Bird ahead. I'm just going to say it. This looks like a miniature boss arena. Not a real boss arena, but a miniature boss arena. Try bow. I don't have any decks. Hello. It's a bird with swords for legs. <laughs> sip me! I got a sip in there. Okay. You're lucky. Give him again. There you go. Give him, get him again. Go! Oh! Light pinion. Okay, that actually seems like something Napoleon Dynamite would draw. I love when Souls trolls you as well. I think my favorite, like, surprise or, or troll in any Souls game, though, whole oh whole, so true, is when, um, in Sekiro, when you're climbing up one of those temples, you'll just be, like, standing still, and then you'll hear, Hoo! and a, then a, a samurai on a kite from like 500 meters away will dive bomb you. That is great. That's, that's maybe my favorite troll. Praise the beautiful. So true. So true. No weak foe ahead. Am I... Oh, you can go up. He's right. No weak foe ahead. No foes at all. Mm. I'm jumping. Horse double jump there. Ah. That's a good idea. Dark rates. Hold on. Um, Square up. This is not where I want to be. You shot a tornado. You shot two tornadoes at me, huh? You know how uh, I have a reputation for, like, the best remixes in the game? Like, always think of, uh, like, Toxic. You know, 
I, I'm trying to think of how it starts, but it's like, you know, with a taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. Yeah. To Kate's singing Toxic now. She knows it's good. But then it's like, I'm addicted to you. Won't you reach out and touch faith? What the hell? It's incredible. I think you could do the same thing with... Uh, and and I need somebody else to, to do the production work. I'll just take 50% off the top for being like the idea person. Um, you could do the same thing with Naive Melody, open parentheses, this must be the place, close parentheses, by the Talking Heads, and Creep by TLC. Not by Radiohead, by TLC. Those two songs, they just go together. I can't muster it in my head right now, but every day in the shower, I think of it. Hello. You got a problem? No, thank you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> they were just napping? They're the ones who got up, okay? If they wanted to stay napping, my quarrel is not with them. As soon as you make moves of aggression, I make moves of aggression on you as well. I see you moving back there. I see you moving back there. Hook claws. This goes hard, feel free to screenshot. I'm not using those, those are a dex weapon, guaranteed. Hidden path ahead. These are fiery. <laughs> you thought you were on to something. If I take one extra step, I would have been toast. But I didn't take one extra step, did I? Did I? Get out of there. Why do I feel like NL does more damage than me and I'm level 40? Uh, I put two levels in vitality and everything else into strength. Could that be a, an expl explanation for this? That's so makeable. Oh, also, yeah, I'm two-handed. If we're talking about the, the best additions ever added to Souls, two-handing has to be like... That's funny. That's a funny troll. Two-handing has to be, like, chief amongst them. It was worth it for the golden rune, man. <laughs> I gotta say, honest, honestly, square up is kind of sick, too. Not as sick as uh, not dying. Look at how much posture damage it does. What are you going to do? Check this out. Nasty way to go. I was thinking about Elden Ring last night. It's like when I play Elden Ring, I feel like I almost trick myself into thinking that it's just like another Souls game. When I'm not playing it, I, I start to wax very uh, philosophical. Like it, it really does, I mean, I'm still so early to be fair. It really does feel like from software, like just flexing. Like, you know how the Beatles and the Beach Boys had a little bit of a, a, a feud? Not a feud, but they, they inspired one another. So, like, the Beatles made uh, Rubber Soul. And then, uh, oh, well, I guess I'll be down here now. The Beatles made Rubber Soul. And then uh, the Beach Boys were like, what the hell? This is the best album I've ever heard. We're just going to, like, one-up it real quick with pet sounds. And then the Beatles were like... Pet sounds. What a cool album with the dogs barking at the end and everything. Um, what if we just one up that by making Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? And then Brian Wilson didn't make another album for 40 years? Oh, we got a baby mask. 
How about that? It, it kind of fits you, honestly. <laughs> does it fit you? Um, I could tell you it, it does not fit me. It would hurt. You know why I'm here? <laughs> Cactus Jack sent me! Is there a streamer? Look, I'm so pro masks that I'm like honestly embarrassed to even say this. Is there a streamer who streams with a mask on for COVID-19 protocols? There, there's got to be, right? Like, I see people... I'm not judging, okay, by the way. But I see people that are, like, in their car by themselves, and they were, they're wearing a mask, and I was like, that's a little weird. And then people were like, they might just be, like, an Uber driver rolling to their next location or something. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Good point. But there's got to be a streamer who's wearing the mask at the PC. And I'm not judging them, I'm just asking, okay? Hey, lick my hadron. Thank you as well. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Hello. Any cameras in the chat? What's this guy, the Wheeze Knight? I'm gonna backstab you. Any enemy that looks like this is just, like, fishing for backstabs. You're so lucky that you're better than me and better armored. Nice try. How'd you get here? Did you beat Margit? Did you teach Margit? Margit that you're naked on a cold day! Nice try. I'm sipping. Worth. Now we get a window. Why'd you say that? Some of y'all haven't seen Austin Powers, and it shows. You got a tornado attached to you, huh? I had him. I had him. <clears throat> Sometimes I wear my mask in the car because I forget. I can understand that, but like with glasses, I don't do that. Just cause like, my glasses fog up. I have worn a mask while driving, but I gotta make sure that that little piece of metal is like so attached to my nose. Otherwise, we're all gonna die in a horrible car accident. And I don't say that lightly. A shirt! Hold on. I'm at, I'm at over half equip load. Whatever. For now, we'll run it. We can always level Stam at some point. I feel slower, though, man. This doesn't feel right. No problem with you. 70% is fat roll now. Okay, medium is fine in this game. Medium is fine. Medium is fine. It's good enough. You missed. But I, I forgot, I lost my train of thought as I started talking about wearing my mask, as, as is my hobby. Um, help. You got some real problems. You getting backstabbed is so embarrassing. You were on a staircase facing me. Um, it really does feel like, like from software, just being like, hey, there's been like a lot of great games that have come out recently. Let's just, I don't know, take like the best game we've ever made and then double it. Like, it doesn't feel iterative, it feels like, um, like transformative. I get that it's kind of like the culmination of everything they've done up to this point, but it's like... I don't know, it feels even more than that to me. Hello. Which one of you fuckers? I'm not squaring up yet. How, how come your mom lets you have tornado power? Okay, that was fun. <laughs> What's so different between this and Dark Souls 1? You're starting the argument off on a bad foot. Like, this is... It, it, it does not... Uh, smack of a good faith argument. Like, without being rude, like, it sounds like you don't know what you're talking about and you just want to fight. 
They obviously have some similarities, but like... Oh, yeah, right. I forgot there's one more of us. I do see this as a collaborative effort. I, did, I, I didn't talk about it in chat because it was real toxicity instead of faux toxicity, but I, during a Margit boss fight on one of my glances, I saw one message in chat, as is the, the, the normal case for me. And the message was like, I see this is exactly the same as the other Souls games, so I'm out. And I was just wondering, like, what the hell is that guy watching? You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, you are enamored right now. Like, what? he's, he's leaving Elden Ring because it's, like, too similar to stuff that he's already seen. But I'm also like, like, what are you going to leave to watch? It's probably like Teamfight Tactics, right? How sad is that? Mario 64 bots? Okay, well, you know what? Let's not say things we can't take back, you know? Plump sword ahead. That's pretty good. Okay, you know what? I'm ready this time. I do need to get my souls. You can't hit me. I haven't got my souls back yet. You wouldn't hit a man who doesn't have souls, would you? Backstab him! Yes! Definitely a courtesy sip is warranted. I'll take 11 damage. Thanks for breaking your boss's pots, dummy. You're just a stooge. You're just a corporate stooge with a, with a clipboard. Who, who just is happy he finally has a little power in his life. You with your stupid little clipboard. Any knocked up fans in the chat? Got him. Don't try to pretend you're too cool for... for knocked up. That's a good movie. I don't trust you for a damn second. There's too much light coming out of this thing. Yagami. Curved sword talisman. I'm gonna stop you right there. I don't know what it does. Rusted key. I entered from a door that was somewhere over here. I just want to get my bearings again. <laughs> from I entered from there. I thought there was another chest over here, but that's okay. Get me out of here. Talisman ahead? I can't leave this room. I'm trapped. How does one escape from this? Is there another <laughs> exit in here? Ryab was wrong with you? You don't... Listen, didn't expect... Hey, there you go. That's the... <laughs> you just saw the door? Yeah, but I forgot where that was. Like, I know it was in here somewhere, but I guess I'll just trace the walls. Right? Like, this is where we came in. Oh, I got the key to go downstairs. Thank you. That's what you get when you only post question marks. Now we're free to go. Look at this. Behold, ladder. No fishing, please. You're not looking at the ring you got? Um, I don't have any rings. I do have a talisman. The curved sword talisman, which enhances guard counters. <laughs> There's no comedy in Souls like falling off of a ledge. Just like... Taka, 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 taka. Ah! Okay, hold on. Square up, square up. Square up. Go ahead. Poke me all you want. Square up. Oh, you piece. You deserve that. I'm going to enjoy that one. Lord Rand's funniest home videos. Oh, the red, white, and blue. And then hear me out here. The funny things you do. America, America, this is you. How sad is that theme song when you really think about it? 
The entire premise of the show is dads getting hit in the nads when their toddler like hits a baseball off of a tee. And then the artist is like owning us. Well, I mean, owning you. I'm Canadian, so that doesn't apply to us. Um, there's America, America. This is you, lol. This you? America, America. This you? Anyway, thank, congratulations on 100 Peloton rides. Thank you, thank you. Hello, you've scratched me. I did, I, I hit a, 100 Peloton rides yesterday. I hit 10, well, technically I hit 102 today. Oh my god. Because I, um, oh, we got some souls there somehow. Technically we hit 102 today because I want to do more Peloton lane break rides. Um, but... They only have one 30-minute ride, which is David Guetta hits. And I've been doing that ride like once a week. But I don't want to listen to the same six David Guetta songs every single day. So I mix it up sometimes and I run some... Uh, I'll run some Rock Riot 1. That it, I'll tell you the track list, okay? Tra it's a 15-minute lane break workout. Track one, it starts with a bang immediately. Alanis Morissette, all I really want. Track two, um, ooh, resin. Uh, something by the Black Keys. I think it's called Howlin' For You because in the song, the guy goes, Baby, I'm howling for you. But I also feel like that's kind of every Black Keys song that I know. Third song. Boys and Girls by Blur off the seminal 1996 album Park Life. You're done, bud. You're also done, bud? No chance. Final track. It's a Muse song. I believe that the song is called MK Ultra. So I'm. She's a brick hammer. So to be honest, my my whole the the reason that I do the ride largely comes down to uh, Alanis and Blur. But at least like Howlin' for You by the Black Keys, at least it's got a nice driving beat that you can you can come out of the saddle and put that resistance high. I don't think I have the stamina to do this, to be honest. And then I follow it up with some uh, usually 15-minute uh, David Bowie hits. Starts with Young Americans. Then goes into, um, I think, Let's Dance. Changes is definitely on it. Rebel Rebel's definitely on it. Let's see if I do some damage here. That's enough. But they need to, like, you know... Silver pe peckled foul foot? Let me guess. No secret passage ahead, but praise the message. Poor. Um, I, uh, they need to add more 30-minute rides. I can only hear the David Guetta songs so many times, man. I like this one. If only I had a lover, if only I had a life. But, like, if we're doing a list of... David Guetta songs, like a tier list... When Love Takes Over by Kelly Clarkson, I mean Kelly Rowland, pretty good. Um, there's some others. Mushroom, Badger, Badger. Titanium's okay. I'm not. I'm not against Titanium. Every message I leave is seek head. I love that for you. Keep it up, please. I feel like this has been a great area for loot. Wrath ahead. Why is it always dead end? Ah, God, still no item. I don't touch it. David should get a new song. Definitely. I, unless it's a choice between a new song or when love takes over. I don't think so. In which case, I'll take when love takes over. Hello! 
I didn't expect the two quick ones. Huge! Oh, dude. The posture damage? I need... They're Tornado Knights, huh? He do be whipping. What happened to your beautiful shirt? It caused me to roll badly, so I have foregone it. In favor of maintaining a semblance of agility. Okay, that didn't serve me too well. Honestly, I think we can use this sword. But, for now... I kind of... Or we can use this hammer, I should say. But, for now, I kind of miss the weapon art that we had here. I was vibing with it. Take me back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm just being straight up with you. I don't know why I take damage to these guys. Because, like, I know I, I have it within me, in my heart of hearts, to just kill them. Like, my weapon is fast. Their weapons are, are not that fast. The staircase does hurt you, don't get me wrong. Like, look at that. That's too, too easy. Why is leveling up not resin, but reinforcing weapons is? Find God. Why are you just coming here to fight? Find God. I'm going full Yay West Instagram on you. Find God. First off, seek God. Nice try. He has a point. I will say, and I, I know I, I talk a lot of positive and a lot of negative about my awareness and uh, understanding of Kanye West. Genius. Amazing documentary. At least I'm, I'm only... I finished episode two because there's only an episode a week. But an incredible documentary, without a doubt. You gotta land a shot now and then. <laughs> okay, I was trying to get him to fall in the hole. Yeah, dude, it's such a, a... And I'm not like a an enormous Kanye guy. I really liked, you know, the first few albums. And then, obviously, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. And then I kind of like fell off a little bit because I just stopped listening to music in general. And it seems like, honestly, that might have been a good time to... Uh, become a little bit more ignorant of the Kanye West experience. But when Pharrell walks out after hearing Through the Wire is such a good, like, documentary moment. I'm not sure if it's quite at the level of Robert Durst admitting the murder in the bathroom stall at the end of the, of the Jinx, but it's still, it's pretty good. You don't like Jesus? I've never heard it. Never heard it. And I never freaking will, probably. You gotta listen to it. Clearly, that's not the case, because if I had to listen to it, I would be dead by now, because I haven't listened to it. You're a fool. Thank you, Glass Shard. Derek Wibley had a kid two years ago. See, that doesn't... Derek Wibley, for people who don't know, is the guy with the spiky hair from Sum 41. That doesn't make me feel old, because I also had a kid two years ago. And Derek Wibley's got to be older than me, because I was, you know, pogging up to his songs in eighth grade. That doesn't really make me feel old. Toy Story's almost 30. That is, I'm starting to get to the point where, like, movies I liked that I saw as a teenager are approaching, like, their 20th anniversary. But even that, I honestly think you reach a point where, like, getting old stops feeling surreal and just starts being, like, life. 
I think I'm at that point. I don't know. Jurassic Park is going to be 30 years old soon. I don't give a shit. I think I already saw it in theaters when it had its 20th anniversary. I thought I had you, peace. Flask me, flask me, flask me. Does it ever start being good? What the heck? Jurassic Park, that's a beloved classic. That's a popcorn classic without a doubt. You got loot for me? No loot. No loot. Jurassic Park is overrated. It's a good movie. I don't know. Like, look. It's probably considered... If you did a what's your favorite movie survey for people my age... I'm not risking it. Jurassic Park would probably come close to winning. Do I think that it deserves to be there necessarily? No, not really. But I think it's a great movie. I think, you know, it's uh, it's just a, a, a an action thrill ride that everybody can enjoy. It's just a spectacle, but when... when Everybody wants to be negative about blockbusters, which is fine. But, like, when blockbusters go right, that's magic, man. And Jurassic Park is a movie where blockbusters went right. How many bags of popcorn? I mean, come on. It's got to be, like, that's a five-bagger. I'm not saying it's, it's a perfect movie, but it's a five-bagger for sure. I need, like, one more enemy to die so I can level up. Swords for legs. Okay. What's a five-bagger? It's a movie. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's any movie. But especially the best ones. You're done. Okay, good hit, honestly, but they should have sent a poet. Are we ready? Do we have enough? Okay, let's... I hate to do this. We're going to fight this guy one more time. What would a one-bagger be in this case? Tim and Ayaka's sex tape, probably. That, or the trial of Tim Heidecker is probably a one-bagger. Not for me personally, but for the show, it would probably be a one-bagger. At least if Greg was on. Zach and Miri make a pornography, a pornographic film. I'll have you know, I saw Zach and Miri make a porno. At my local premiere, which was not, you know, let me put it this way. It was not at Hollywood Boulevard. But I won tickets from the radio station. So I got to see it early. I wasn't really like a Kevin Smith kind of guy. I mean, I like Clerks. And Clerks 2. And maybe like a little of Dogma. And then none of the other ones. But definitely watching Zack and Miri uh, make a porno. I was like... This movie's kind of ass. Oh, good. More of you. Oh, two more at the same time. Go! Oh! Hold on. I gotta square up with these birds, man. Oh, my God. I missed my square up! They're beating my ass in the, in the quote retweets right now. Come on! I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I saw Mallrats like a year ago. And I, Mallrats is actually like... Don't let Justin hear this. I think it's horrible. I know, Jay, you're like, you're such a New Jersey guy. 
I'm not just saying this because we got bodied by the devils last night. I'm not just trying to inflict pain, okay? But I... I hate mall rats. Help. Help. Jay and Silent Bob? I think it's pretty bad. It's better than mall rats. I'm fighting this bird like it's a boss. Heal me. Sit me. Nice try. There we go. One more. Dogma's goaded? I don't think it's goaded. You know, I think it's like, you know, the Warhawk's talent. What, no large man with a halberd out here? Let me, beautiful view. Time for jumping. Revenge ahead. I don't know about that. And I don't know if you know this, but you have a permanent HP debuff on right now because of uh, Fia, the deathbed companion. Yeah, I, um, I'm beating the game on super hard mode. Are you saying that I've basically I'm on masochist mode and I beat Margit two times in a row? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying I'm the best to have ever done it? Stormhawk Feather. Two smithing stones to be used preciously. In a row? Well, it was in a row. Twice on the same day. Be wary of enemy. It's just the one stone, actually. Good, good hot fuzz reference. So do we actually have to come down here? Do we actually have to try jumping? Warhawk's Talon. 16 decks, we'll never see it. You don't have to. Okay, that's the polite way of saying you should not. There's a staircase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty true. Golden Rune, size 2. Lever me. Is Lever 2000, the soap, still around? That was a big soap. I would say, like, it and, uh... It and Dove. Irish Springs. Ivory. Those were big when I was a kid. That was big soap. Back when bar soap was the only name in the game. Where am I? This is like exactly a Miyazaki door area. I'm not gonna fight you right now. I'm gonna go to the church. I'm gonna find God as suggested. Hello. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Sword, I saw a chip summon this guy. Sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed, I'm looking for a little something here in the castle when I'm not hot footing it from the troops. That is. Excuse me? But enough about me. <laughs> Let's you talk know. about you for a minute. This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly he is kind of dripped out, huh? Look at that glove, man. He's got the Mind Stone in that way. Sorry, that's not the Mind Stone. That's the Eye of Agamemnon. Okay. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this... Unlike you, you've seen no, nor hair? I know what you're trying to say. Square up. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? Nope. As a fellow tarnished. Learn skills. Carrion greatsword, spinning weapon. 
I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be opposed. I just don't have the capital for that right now. Plus, you're maidenless. Okay, see you never. I can hear him. He's right out there, man. I told you. I don't mind fighting one big guy, but I do also feel like we got to be close to a, a Shrine of Grace. But, I mean, I think I'm going to have to kill you to make it happen. Might as well make it a fair fight. Go ahead. Tornado me. Huge. I really thought I had your backstab there. We sip here for sure. Take your sips as you receive them. Oh, a little, little hitbox, you know what there. Guess what? I'm gonna die. Guess what? I'll see you later. Don't look back. Don't look back. I could never look back. Then surprise him. Square up. Just kidding. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Okay, fair enough. Hey, I like that. Zack and Miri make a hitbox pornography. They wouldn't dare. They had no real life skills. My main goal is to square up and then act like I ain't got no maidens. Yum, 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 yum. We're definitely just leaving here. I've proven I can fight these birds. I choose not to do it ever again. Hold on. I meant my tweet yesterday, by the way. When I said, um... Do DoorDash drivers know, like, the Twitch ecosystem will collapse without them? I mean that... A hundred thousand percent. Screw it. It might not collapse, but it would make life harder for Twitch streamers. Um, someone came down after me. Is a bird. I want to die now. Yum. How are we going to kill this bird? No, you know what? Like this. <laughs> oh, no. Just let me sip once. Then. <laughs> oh, that's such a good way to die. <laughs> All right, so we got to kill the birds. I feel like that's true. Like, there's... Obviously, like, you couldn't... Twitch streamers could not work without the Twitch engineers or the team at Twitch that makes it all possible. The hardworking venture capitalists who invested, you know, early in the seed phases in order to bring our dreams to reality. But then, like, just above Twitch... Like, I should say above, not in terms of hierarchy, but in... They're one step above the foundation is the DoorDash drivers. If it weren't for the DoorDash drivers, this website would not be what it is today. So stand up, take a bow. Okay, you got me. Honestly, pretty good hit. A new version of Wavelink is available. That's pretty sick. I'm going to say remind me later on that one. As in, like, maybe never. You're, not, you're in my house. You see a bird inside, you know you're in trouble. I'm not saying Twitch streamers can't cook. All I'm saying is that I feel like there was a time on this website where you would be like, hey, what'd you eat today? The average streamer you talk to would legit say nothing. They would be like, I haven't eaten yet. And you'd be like, it's 6.45 p.m. your time. And they'd be like, yeah, I know. The existence of DoorDash has at least changed that to be like, what have you eaten today? And then they're like, tonight I'm having a, a quinoa falafel wrapped with sweet potato fries. The downside is that it's like, you know, that probably costs you like $30, but... This was this is the first part of Elden Ring that I'm like they should have rethought this. They should have made you fight one bird with swords cuz it's funny and then cut the other ones out of the game.
Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can't run past them because then I I have to fight the large knight with two eagles bearing down on me. Ooh. I will say, I've been ordering a lot less DoorDash, like, just in general. Mostly because, and I'll just level with you. I'm cheap. It's really what it comes down to. The, we ordered DoorDash last night because the baby's sick, so it screws up your whole routine, makes it a lot harder to get to the, um, the grocery store without being considered, like, a vector for disease. So last night, ordered... Um, Kate had two beef tacos, but they were, like, large beef tacos. I had four crispy potato tacos. We got two drinks. They included a side of guacamole for free. Total price came to 28 Canadian dollars. I was like, it feels like something's broken. No fall damage, dude. Like, I, I thought the bill was wrong. I feel like if you get guacamole at... That's not how you say that, but... When you get guacamole at Chipotle on DoorDash... That's $28. Good. Minute by minute. Dazed reeling about to break. Mm, nice try. You're no Margie. You can just run past these guys. Just so you know, if you want to not play the game... Step one is don't buy it. If you're scared, like if you don't want to go toe to toe with enemies because they're like too strong for you or whatever, feel free to just abstain. I have played Souls games as if they were walking simulators in the past. Right now, I'm not about that life. I'm about circling them around him until a backstab window appears. Okay, that, in Dark Souls 1, you wouldn't have been able to do that, but I'm old. Didn't he just run past the birds? I'm just asking you, when you troll, like, you gotta watch the stream. Like, it was literally like a minute ago, I fought the birds. One of them killed me. You're not, you're not putting your full effort into trolling, and that's what's wrong with the internet in the modern era. Even the trolls have ADHD. They're getting distracted, you know, when they're exercising their desire to be distracted. You're getting distracted from your distractions. If you're here to troll, don't say, ha ha, he's bald. Say, why is this streamer so sensitive? That's the kind of thing that'll get under someone's skin. Because the answer, to, why am I bald? I know the answer to that. It's some kind of like hormone overdose. Why is the streamer so sensitive? That's a question I gotta search deep within myself to answer, honestly. No, no. Okay, just just be dead. You're a bird, be dead. Nice try. Hmm, nice try. Try jumping, that's a, that's a cool trick. I can't believe we lived. Now, all that being said, I might just run past this guy. Why does the streamer have muffin PH, uh, PTSD? That I'm still trying to figure out. I don't think I have a traumatic experience surrounding muffins. But I do feel like the taste of a muffin in real life is so much better than the taste of it in my brain. And I don't have an explanation for why that is. Kukiri. Oh, well, well, well. Like, for some reason in my head, the concept of eating a muffin strikes me as like, oh, what the heck, man? This is just the church again. It, it strikes me as... Um, you know, like, that's a meal I would eat if I was depressed. But then when I actually eat one, I'm like, whoa, I'm pretty pogged. This is nice. 
I think it's because, and I think we came to this conclusion during the stream, but I think it's because, like, I only eat a muffin if someone's, like, in the hospital or if we just got out of the emergency room and it's, like, 5 a.m. and the only thing open is Tim Hortons and I'm like, I don't know, just give me a muffin. Baited every time. I'm out of here. Or, ne never mind. Circle me. Use your Mario strats. Bowser him. Not today. Don't forget about your runes, by the way. Two quick ones. Dark Souls 1, those don't hit. Those don't hit. Like, if I went over to somebody's house and they were like, we just baked muffins, I would be like, oh, Poggy. <laughs> but if they were like, hey, we got six muffins from Costco, I would be like, no, thanks, I'm not hungry. Even though they, like, taste good. It's just something about eating a muffin is like I've given up on the day or something. Which is like fine. You know, sometimes you gotta. I just don't want to fight these birds anymore, man. They're insubordinate and churlish. <laughs> But a fresh baked muffin is a different story. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you at? Mm. Huge! We got a little free damage. And I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. You're dead. What's your take on popcorn? I love it. Can I also say, by the way, I actually owe... I don't know if it's Nabisco, but I owe the creator of Corn Nuts an apology. In my snack tier list, I said that Corn Nuts are actually like a, a, a hazard, dentally speaking. They're a hazard for your teeth. I think, honestly, every time in my life, I had eaten corn nuts. They had just been stale somehow, even though I just bought them from like a gas station. But like my gas station growing up was probably not the first uh, stop on that trucker's route. Let's put it that way. So I was at the grocery store on Saturday and uh, I bought, I went to the bulk food section and there was a bucket that said barbecue peanuts, okay? I can make that. So I filled up a bag with barbecue peanuts. And then I, when I was looking at them, I was like, these don't really look like peanuts. But they don't really look like corn nuts. They're kind of like a little bit of both. So I just, I, I risked it, right? I just took the chance. And then they turned out to be corn nuts. But when I was eating them, they were fresh, and they were actually, like, kind of good. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to admit that, you know, in light of new information, I feel uh, like I've, I've been forced to change my opinion somewhat. Visions of plump sort. Every time. I don't know. It might even just be... Generic. Maybe generic corn nuts are actually better than corn nuts branded corn nuts. What are you guys doing in here? Keep moving. Try stealth. Okay. This guy's pretty spicy, huh? Well, you'd expect some spicy nights, considering we're here in Anne Orlando again. Hmm. <clears throat> 
What a cod piece. <laughs> close one? Yeah, we were pretty close on that one. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. Okay, just drop me, man. Just drop me in here. I'm not scared. What's your take on flavored popcorn? I'm for it. I don't eat pop I only eat popcorn at the movie theater, essentially, okay? So I don't eat as much flavored popcorn as I'd like. Wait, we just kill you like this. That's easy. We just rush you. Then we got no problems. But I like uh I like all of the popcorns. Even like the caramel corn is not my favorite, but I still like it. Like a you know, what what is it called? Like Chicago mix or whatever. It's like half cheese, half uh Half cheese, half caramel. I like it. Margit. That still hits, huh? That's that's a real problem. I'll be leaving now. But a white cheddar? Absolutely. Like a smart pop? Oh, man. Don't even get me started. Okay, guess what? <laughs> the Mimics Veil! Let me out! What's your take on the Christmas bucket? I mean, I'm, I'm a popcorn psycho. The enormous garbage can full of popcorn that's stale cheddar cheese, and then you turn it into the basin that your family keeps all your plastic bags in so you can reuse them. I'm all about that. Basically, honestly, just get fucked. That's ridiculous. I'm here to tell you that what you, what you have just done is an insult to me as a gamer, and you deserve to perish for your crimes. How many hours in are you by now? Probably like this is like 13. Say we're on hour 13. Can, can you go through the fireplace? Visions of plump sort. Okay, let's see what that mimics veil is. What even is it? Baldachin's blessing. Mimics Veil. Use FP to mimic nearby objects. Now we're talking. I don't really want to go down here. Um, but let's do it. That sounds like fun. Nice plunging attack. Beautiful. Golden room. Chrysalid's memento. It's a key. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Someone needed the they, the lady wanted this, right? Excuse me. I'm just a piece of dirt. I'm too scared to become a chrysalid myself. Shortcut ahead. Let's go. Miyazaki, you madman. You've done it again. You've done it again. Big brain memory. I remember some things. Like, for example, I remember I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so special about that place. You know what this means. We never need to see those damn birds ever again. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Actually, I do know. I watched Apollo play for like five minutes, and he was like, just what I needed. More birds with swords on their legs. But then they didn't have... Uh, swords on their legs and he said oh thank god no swords well this looks like something for the next stream shortcut ahead hello this guy is like the opposite of margie 
He has no delay on his attacks. What are you doing? What are you doing? They can't beat this guy yet. Are you crazy? Marski. Ooh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Okay, take a sip. Think about this for a second. Look, we got lots of tiny doors in here. We don't need to fight him right now. A fog wall. Time for something incredible. Therefore, offer key. Bro, can you just chill? No key in inventory. Stone sword key. Stone sword key. Ooh, a smithing stone. Bro, like legit just chill, okay? I'm just trying to explore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Peace. Come over here. Take one of these. Excuse me. Okay, honestly. Honestly, pretty good hits. Didn't think I was going to live there. It's Loot City, baby. Loot City. The Highland Axe. So worth it. So here's... Wow, we got five minutes left. It's a good axe. God of War axe. Oh, no. Let's, let's take a look at this for a second. Highland axe. 123 plus 24. Let's at least just take a look, right? It's got the yop. We're familiar with the yop. We can't even make it to any other boss, I think, right now. I know this guy isn't really a boss, but... And I, by I know, I mean I think this guy isn't really a boss. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? My elevator? Was that not it? Have I lost my mind? There's a lever. Bro, put... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good point, good point. They should put, like, a light on top of it or something like that. That's like, you know, here's your lever. You should put, like, an LED or something. Okay, check this out. Little Dark Souls 101. Mmm, I don't think so. Try stealth. Try stealth. Think he discovered me? I see daylight. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I've never even attacked with this weapon yet. Okay, seems kind of cool. I can live with that. Nice ballista. Pocket full of mushrooms, huh? What the heck? That's terrible news. Just embrace death. Never mind. We're the best. Not the best. The best. Okay, one at a time. What terrible news for you. Lucky. No, 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 no tornado nights. Nice try. How about one of these? All, all of you? Okay, fine. I didn't know so many people wanted to die today. All righty. <laughs> what talismans are you running today? I got some good ones. Um, one of them increases our guard counter and i don't even know what that is and one of them um minimizes our damage to fire attacks by five percent which i think is making a pretty demonstrable difference it's when you block and hit r2 what is blocking what does blocking mean is that this? This is blocking? What about this?
and this one wants to give you flowers. That's what I said now. I'm not letting Ruka in. Ruka, he's a very, he's a needy boy lately. He's honestly become sort of rude. Like, I'll be eating dinner, he'll want wet food. When I'm sitting down, he'll put his claws on my shirt and, like, dig his claws in. Owns. And then, like, scratch me. And be like, it's time for me to get fed. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna feed you right after I eat. You gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. Okay, there's only like a thousand guys here. Don't even worry about it. We'll get you first. Then we'll get you. You gotta go. Then we'll square up. How do you get to equip two runes at the same time? Oh, somebody uh, hasn't beaten the boss that I've beaten. Well, well, well. I think that's the answer, at least. Do cats know they're different than humans? I don't know how much I buy, like, any of the cat psychology. But I have heard anecdotally that cats don't realize that they're cats so they model themselves as humans but then they think that they know what a cat is obviously but they think if you have multiple cats that the other cats are cats and they're one of you i don't know if that's true or it's just funny so i want to believe it but not true but who are you, Jackson Galaxy? Any lore masters? Jackson Galaxy is the cat whisperer on Animal Planet. He's a guy with bowling shirts and crazy sideburns, which I was going to call side brows for a second there. I'm not going to stand here. Yo, I'm just... Look, I love Elden Ring. I'm having a, a wonderful time. This area sucks, man. I mean, I guess what do you... I'm trying to, like, Luke Skywalker this whole Death Star. But, like, come on, man. There's a lot of guys. You're not supposed to fight them? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to fight them. They got weapons. They got health bars. They bleed like anything else. Look at that. You're supposed to run past? I don't buy that. I think you could run past if you chose. I'm not going to live. I am going to perish here. And you know what? That's for the best. We're right at the end of the stream. It's Gyobu the drunk. Haha, I made you kill your companion. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm dead. Alright, fair enough. And we'll quit through the menu this time. We'll quit through the menu this time. I got stuck on a tree. You got a hood. So true. I did indeed. Okay. We go, we go sister. I know how to do this. Okay. I think we'll start the next Elden Ring section by going back and fighting in the Everje. 